Alberta Open Farm Base, what is that about? One weekend a year, farmers have the opportunity to open their gates to the public. People can come in, uh, see what we do, see how we raise animals or grow vegetables. What do you call your farm? Uh, live Life Livery Farm. That's an interesting name. When I saw that invite and I said Live Life, that means something. So why do you call it that way? We named it that because we want to live as natural of a life as we possibly can and produce all the products that we need to to survive out here. So, yeah. And then all our, our friends liked what we were doing, so then we started offering the products out to others and then selling it because they want to do the same things that we were doing. So, so you've always been farmers? No, I've, I was raised in the city and Kathy wanted to move out to the farm and that's what started it all. A lot of people have this dream. What finally moved you to do it? We just decided one day we were gonna do it, right? You just have to decide this is what we're gonna do and we found the piece of land and we did it. But you're producing more than what you need to survive on and they, that's why it's a little business. Yeah, we're just trying to limit as many trips to the store as we possibly can. So. Yeah. And we sell the extra stuff just to help with the cost of producing it. So I have two places I deliver in Okotoks and Calgary. Let's burst the bubble. This is not all plain sailing, is it? No. no it's, uh, <laughs> it's, we both work full time and then we come out here and work full time. So we work till nine or 10 o'clock at night and we're up at five in the morning to do chores before we go to our regular job and then come home and, and work here again. Being around the animals, they, if you've had a stressful day, they really just bring you right down back to your normal self and watching the, the young lambs play at night, it's great fun. If I want to do what you're doing, what's advice you'll give me? Uh, I would think the biggest thing I could say is start slow. Don't try and do everything at once because it, it makes it very hard. These uh, young fellows, they're going to be ready for Christmas? These young fellers will be ready in September. What we do for our pigs and our chickens is people uh, pre-buy them. So they put a deposit down and that's just as many as we have for that year. So buy from the farmer, get it fresh. That's right. But you take, you basically take care of the rest and I can still get all the, the good value nutrition on it. And to be honest with you, I give you a chance to live the life that I actually want to live. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Thanks for sharing it with us folks. I no really problem. appreciate it. Man.